Well, I'm from North Yorkshire, in the north of England, and I think I always wanted to be a writer. I'm not sure I always wanted to be a journalist, though. Um, it didn't really feel like an industry that was open to me when I was growing up, I think. Um, and I just, I fell into it because I won a competition on The Guardian um, that was about, and the prize was uh, not a financial prize or a, an award or anything like that. The prize was you got to edit The Guardian women's page for a week. Um, and I won that when I was 21. Um, and I'd sort of gone into that more because I was interested in, in women's issues and feminism rather than journalism. But that week uh, convinced me that uh, journalism was the right thing for me. And I'm a very uh, curious person. I'm interested in everything. I really like knowing about lots of different things. Um, and I, move, I like moving very quickly in a very energetic way. And so I feel like I've stumbled, really, I stumbled upon the best uh, job for me. I'm the 12th editor-in-chief in 194 years, and I'm the first woman editor-in-chief. The Guardian was set up in response to a riot in Manchester, um, where uh, the, the yeoman of the day uh, killed some protesters who were protesting for the right to vote in Manchester. Um, and uh, over the years, it's taken lots of diff interesting liberal uh, and progressive positions. Um, and my job is to interpret that for the modern day. And I, the way I've interpreted that is that we're on people's side, that we're on the side of ordinary people against um, a very small elite. Um, and then my, the other part of my job is to find ways for, to get that journalism read. You know, I've always said that I'm not interested in doing important journalism that nobody sees. I want people to see it and read it and interact with it and share it, share it and contribute to it and help us with it and critique it and, you know, be part of a kind of very diverse and energetic cycle. Um, and that's what digital gives us. And so the other part of my job is to make sure that Guardian Journalism is in the right format and the right places on the right websites, the right apps, the right platforms um, and the right devices so that people can read it and enjoy it and be part of it. There's a great phrase, which is that the digital era means that everyone can commit an act of journalism. Anyone can do it. If they witness something and they put it into a tweet or a Facebook post, then that's an act of journalism. Um, I'm one of the people who would see that as a great thing, uh, but because I think news will be covered in, by more and more people. Um, but what journalists can do is verify that news. Uh, that's their responsibility, that's what they're paid to do. They can put it into context. They can explain that what that individual witnessed perhaps was witnessed in different ways by five other people and try and work out what really happened and, and put those things together and, 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 and I think do a kind of, a sort of stronger version of the truth from what we could do before. My best bit of advice is always to think about what the person you're asking something from might want rather than what you want from them. So what they might need, what do they need at that point? What problem do they need solving rather than what you want out of your life? How, how you can help them, think how you can help them. They'll be so grateful. So if, you, you know, if you're a young person who wants to intern with someone, if you say, I think you're not reaching young readers, I think and I've got some good ideas about how you might do that, that's solving their problem rather than saying, this is what I want for my life.